I know as a college student that you already have enough stuff you're supposed to read, and frankly, a lot of it isn't that fun. But on this episode, I'm gonna share with you some books that college students would really benefit from. So stay tuned to this episode of College on Fleek. Hi, I'm Mary Dittman. I'm an award-winning business professor on the collegiate level and the creator of Wonderful Life and College on Fleek. As you can tell, I'm a pretty voracious reader. I like to read. And many times my students will ask me, what are some books that I could read that are gonna help me? And I could go on and on with that for real, but today I'm just gonna share a few ideas with you. And you say, God, why should I try to read something else? Like I don't have enough to read. And what I'm reading right now, I don't like it anyway. Because the books that I'm gonna share with you today, first of all, they're gonna teach you things that you're never gonna learn in school. And number two, they're gonna give you some hacks that are tried and true from successful people so you don't have to figure them out on your own. All right, so my first suggestion is actually two for the price of one. Damon John, who is the people's shark on Shark Tank, and he is the creator and founder of FUBU Apparel. He's a prolific writer. I've read many of his books. This is, these are just two of them. I mean, I love Damon John. I love <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. I mean, he's awesome. And I love both of these books. So in The Power of Broke, this is where he really talks about don't go out and get a loan for $100,000 or get a second mortgage on your house if you want to start a business. Like, be scrappy. Like, bootstrap your success. Go out, use what you have, and build from there. And maybe you're not interested in starting a business, okay? My, my agenda isn't to try to get you to be an entrepreneur. No matter what you want to do with your life, these books I'm sharing with you today, they're going to help you. And I like these books because they're really easy to read. Damon John has a fantastic style and the chapters are set up where they kind of stand alone. So you could just like read a little bit here and there. You don't have to read the whole book cover to cover. But let me just give you a couple of things from The Power Broke. One of the quotes is, you have to push yourself where you need to be. You have to push yourself. Like you're not gonna just wake up and feel like going to class. You have to push yourself. He says, there's always something standing in your way, always. There's always going to be something that is going to be a challenge. It might be, it's a hard subject. It might be lack of money. It might be, you don't feel motivated. You don't feel well, you're tired. It might be the class is boring. It might be your car broke down. But whatever it is, you're gonna have an obstacle and that's why you have to push yourself. So Power Broke is one. The more recent book that Damon John has written is Rise and Grind. And this is where he interviews different successful people to find out from them what did they do to become successful. And one of the things he says in this book is, almost every successful hard charging person I know makes sure to get off the couch and get moving in some way or another almost every day. So successful people aren't laying around watching Netflix eating junk food. They are getting off the couch. They're doing something. They're taking care of their bodies. Rise and grind, excellent. The next book I love is Use What You've Got by Barbara Corcoran. She's another shark now. I don't believe she's on Shark Tank currently. She's actually a New York City real estate mogul but she came from very humble beginnings. I think that there were like nine kids in her family or something. But this book is really based on like kind of homespun advice. And it's from when she was growing up. Like I said, she came from humble beginnings and these are lessons that her mom taught her that helped her become a multi-million dollar real estate mogul in New York City. One of the things that she says in here is spend your time wisely. The difference between a mediocre and a phenomenal performance is how well you use your time. Always tell the truth. Dress the part. People do judge a book by its cover. So, you know, putting your best face and your best foot forward really does matter, even in college. And by the way, a lot of the folks that I'm sharing with you today didn't get to go to college. 
So it's not like they went and got some education and then their family hooked them up with lots of money. I mean, Damon John never went to college. You can learn a lot from these folks that didn't have the opportunity that you currently have. We're gonna take a quick break and when we come back, I'm gonna share with you my all-time favorite book. Are you struggling with low grades? If you're like most students, you just don't have the right tools in your toolbox. The truth is, nobody ever taught you how to study. I can relate. I'm Mary Dittman. When I was in high school and college, I had terrible test anxiety. There were many times where the only thing on my paper was my name, and I had legit studied, and I was in trouble, but I came up with a study method that worked for me. And when I started teaching on the college level, I found that many of my students also struggle with test anxiety. And so I started teaching the method to them as well. The Study Smart Toolkit has literally helped hundreds of students just like you over the years. In this free training, I show you step by step how to study. You have lifetime access. You can watch it anytime you want to from your phone, your tablet, your laptop, and it works for any class, any major, any school. Now, I can't make a guarantee, but I can just tell you what I've seen with my students. The students who use the techniques in the Study Smart Toolkit go from D's and F's to A's and B's on the very next test. You want better grades with less time studying. Go to bit.ly forward slash Study Smart Toolkit and get the College on Fleek Study Smart Toolkit for yourself. Hi, welcome back. All right, number one hands down favorite book. The 50th Law. It's by Curtis Jackson, also known as 50 Cent, and Robert Greene. Robert Greene wrote a book that was very popular, uh, probably 15, maybe 20 years ago, called The 48 Laws of Power, which is a book I really like, but I don't typically recommend it to college students. It's very dense. It's a very dense read. It's interesting, and there's a lot of good information in it, but it's, it's, you have to really focus. But I love the 50th law. This is really taking some of the lessons that Curtis Jackson, AKA Fitty, learned coming up. Now, normally I would not want to glorify or glamorize a drug dealer, but the lessons that Fitty learned as a street drug dealer were a big part of how he rose up in the music industry. Okay, so like, I mean, if you, if you saw this book, I've got every page has something underlined, but one of the things that he says is, we find it increasingly difficult to muster the patience to endure the hard work that is required for mastering any kind of craft. And he says, you have to have discipline and tenacity. Tenacity means like you hold on, you're like a pit bulldog. The ability to withstand repetitive activity, slowness, and anxiety. Well, if that in college, I don't know what is. You have to have the kind of mental discipline that will serve as the foundation of your power. Now, I love this book so much. I actually purchased a copy one year for everyone in one of my classes. And actually there were a couple of students who were like, no, I don't want it. I'm like, you're an idiot. If I were you, I would just take the book even if you don't want to read it. And one of my students who, I'm gonna tell you, I love him. He's one of my favorite students, but what he would say about himself is like, well, you know, I just procrastinate. Well, I'm just lazy. I just don't want to do anything. Well, he sent me a message on Group Me. We were back and forth talking about some stuff. And here's what he said. And by the way, this was during summer vacation. He said, I love the book, by the way. I read a little bit every night. And I said, well, I'm really glad you like it. I love it. And he says, to be honest with you, you should recommend it to everyone in your business classes. And I said, great idea, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then he said, when you handed it to me in class, I started to read it and it clicked with me. I liked it. And that hasn't happened in a long time. Okay, so like, here's a guy that, I mean, I'm just gonna straight up tell you, he, he didn't wanna do anything. You know, he just kind of phoned it in a lot of the time. He was in a fraternity, which is great, but you know, he was just kind of like, yeah, whatever, I don't wanna do anything. And 
he said he really loved this book, like it really helped him out. And this is a book for myself that when I'm feeling like discouraged or just kind of like tired or unmotivated, I will pick this thing up and I will look through it. And like I said, I certainly don't think that we should glamorize or glorify drug dealers, but 50 Cent, he presents some really good lessons that he learned on the streets and it's part of how he got off the streets. But, you know, I'm hoping and praying that you're not a drug dealer. But no matter what background you've come from, if you're in college right now, you've got an opportunity that 50 Cent never had. And if you can take what some of these authors that I've shared with you that didn't get to go to college, and you're in college, and you can combine this opportunity that you have with the street smarts that they're teaching you, you'll be unstoppable. And you know what? The majority of college students won't do it. They'd rather waste their time on Snapchat and Instagram. They're gonna watch Netflix. They're gonna play video games. They don't wanna take the time or make the effort to read a book. But I'm gonna tell you something. If you did, it would set you apart. If I would have known some of these things when I was your age, oh my gosh, I hate to imagine how much farther ahead I would be. Now, College on Fleek is a dialogue, not a monologue, and we wanna hear from you. I wanna know from you, are any of these books something that you think you wanna to try to read? And by the way, I'm talking about reading, but if you're not into these books, like you don't wanna read, get an audio book. Go to the library and see if they have the audio book available. Or just go to the library and Check out the copy of the book if you don't want to have to pay for it. You can always connect with us at collegeonfleek.com. That's where you can get your Study Smart Toolkit. We have a lot of great resources for you there. And you might want to check out our College on Fleek gear. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on College on Fleek.